What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Nerf Fortnite 6SH. This blaster by Nerf is a spring-powered, hammer-action, six-shot, cylinder-fed pistol, and it's made to look like something out of Fortnite. Let's get into the review. Included is the blaster, detached barrel, darts, and instructions. The barrel snaps into place very easily, but this is not designed to be removed. External overview of the blaster, starting up at the front, there's no in-strike barrel lug. Up here we have a large front sight, but there's no rear sight for alignment. And this barrel comes detached for shipping purposes, but this is not removable. This is not an in-strike barrel attachment, it clicks into place just for assembly. And it's not removable unless you get a hacksaw and you rip it out. However, the blaster works without the barrel attached, so if you don't want to assemble it and keep the blaster shorter, you totally can. Moving back to the cylinder, it's a fixed in place cylinder, it does not pop out of the blaster like on a strong arm. But it spins freely, so you're able to reload pretty easily. There's one exposed barrel on each side, so a right left-handed shooter can use this blaster equally. And loading the blaster is very simple, you just push your darts right on in there. And the cylinder holds six nerf darts, more than the hammer shot's five. Moving back, this is a hammer action blaster, similar to the hammer shot to prime, you pull back like that. The prime action feels very comparable to the hammer shot, the strength required is also very similar. And it's a relatively smooth prime, and I think a small hand or a large hand is going to be able to prime this blaster with one hand pretty easily. Moving down, the trigger pull is pretty standard, this blaster does not have slam fire. You can technically fan it, just like with a hammer shot, but the performance is pretty bad. And now down to the the grip. This is a very smooth ergonomic grip that's going to be pretty comfortable for all hand sizes. I have large hands and I feel pretty comfortable, but if you have smaller hands, you can actually choke up on it and get closer to the trigger in the hammer. So pretty much any human hand is going to feel pretty comfortable on this grip. And it's worth noting, it doesn't feel like a normal Nerf Elite blaster. This feels more like a revolver or a wheel gun. And that's what it's based on. It doesn't have a vertical upright pistol grip. It slants forward just a little bit, which fits the theme of a wheel gun or a revolver. That is an external overview of this blaster. Now I'll show you it firing. Operating this blaster went exactly as expected. I did not experience any jams and malfunctions. If you've ever shot a hammer shot or any Nerf hammer action blaster, this blaster is very similar to those. And it's worth noting the barrel extension is deceivingly lightweight, just like a lot of other Fortnite Nerf blasters, meaning it's not terribly front heavy like it might look. It's more front heavy than a hammer shot or a strong arm, but it's not uncomfortable, which I'm a little surprised by. The balance and ergonomics of the blaster work out, even though it looks really silly. <laughs> and to compare this blaster to others, I put it up on my chronograph, and with Nerf Elite darts achieved an average velocity of 66 feet per second, which is is a little under the 70 FPS par out of most Nerf Elite primaries, but for a pistol, 66 FPS is pretty normal. So performance is in line with other pistols on the market right now. That is all of the objective information I can provide on this blaster, now to my personal opinion. Overall, the blaster works as advertised. I did not experience any jams and malfunctions, and it's relatively smooth and ergonomic to use. So there's certainly no objective reason to avoid purchasing this one. However, with a barrel this long, it's going to be more logistically difficult to holster a pistol like this. Drawing it out of the holster, you have to draw out way more length. It's just unnecessary. So if you're a performance based nerfer, I would recommend you just not assemble the barrel. The blaster works just fine without it. However, once you install the barrel, it is not designed to be removed. It's not an in-strike barrel. So to the question, to buy or not to buy. If you're a big Fortnite fan and you really want a blaster that looks like this because you like the gun from the video game, I would recommend you check it out. It works well. The firing performance is in line with other nerf pistols on the market. The ergonomics and mechanics work just fine. However, if you're a performance based nerfer, the hammer shot is about half the cost of this blaster. The hammer shot has a capacity of five. This new blaster has a capacity of six. Is that worth double of cost, you'll have to make that decision for yourself. But it does feature one hand operation, which the strong arm does not. You need two hands to shoot this. I personally would gravitate towards the hammer shot because I like it. My hands are just comfortable on it and I usually stick to what I know. This is essentially a slight variation of the original hammer shot, but it works pretty well and it's just another option on the market. If you want it, buy it. If you don't, ignore it. I'll be sticking with the hammer shot, but hey, it's another option on the market. But hopefully I've laid out all the objective information you need to make an educated purchase decision. If you'd like to buy one, I'll put a purchase link in the description box below. That concludes this video review. Thanks so much for watching bros and as always stay tactical cool.